All right, this is my 73 Ford F100. Uh, truck was ordered new in San Diego, California. Um, custom cab, four wheel drive. Um, original paint, a lot of it's in very good shape. Um, it's got its little bumps and bruises here and there, but uh, it's still a very, very clean truck overall. Uh, the camper is a Pullman camper from Gardena, California that we found out here. I've never seen another short bed version. Uh, most of them were all long bed canopy versions where you would actually pull out the top that would extend uh, over the back of the truck about 10 feet, <clears throat> give you a little kitchen area and stuff. This is just a simple short bed version. Um, and it's got all new hardware and windows that uh, we replaced when I first found it. Uh, the motor in the truck is a Ford 390. The date code and everything uh, for the truck originally shows that it would have had a 360 in it. So uh, inside there is a mileage marker, or actually I think it's out here somewhere, of where he replaced when he threw this motor in there. Um, it's an excellent running 390. Um, I replaced uh, the radiator. It's got the original fan shroud and everything else. Like I said, this truck's been used to go out to uh, the Mojave and camping in the desert. So, uh, motor has been excellent. I spent quite a bit of money, which I have receipts for to the tune of almost a few thousand dollars going through the motor when I first got it, <clears throat> fixing a lot of small oil leaks, water pump, uh, hoses, just making sure that it was ready to go. Brake master cylinder. It has power steering. Uh, the power steering leaks just a drop every now and then I fill it, you know, every six months or something like that. But, uh, it, the motor does not burn any oil. Um, it's been a great, great truck. Uh, the only oil that the truck actually leaks is a tiny little drop out of the transfer case. Um, and the transfer case as well, not, we're down here, has a PTO drive, uh, which is not connected right now, which runs up to a factory winch that the truck was ordered with. Uh, I've never used it. I've always been camping in the desert and had either a tow strap or something else. And so it's just got the old wire on there and everything else. <clears throat> it's free, it's ready to go. I just have never run the drive line back up to it. Uh, original owner then also kind of modified this and put a old ammo can in here for tools and stuff like that, pretty cool. Uh, the radiator was a big upgrade. Like I said, I'm always out in the desert and it's a big four row radiator. So the truck doesn't get hot. It stays cool. Um, it's dirty, dirty right now. Uh, the truck's been sitting here since before Christmas and uh, part of the reason why I'm selling it, it's sitting too much these days. The interior is really, really clean. Um, previous owner and, and myself have uh, tried to keep it as clean as possible. Four speed um, with obviously four wheel drive uh, and then that's your uh, your PTO over there with the arrows um, for the winch. It's got a Unidid PC680 um, CB radio. It also has an aftermarket stereo that looks stock, um, but also has a line out for your phone or whatever else if you want to connect um, a phone or music or anything. Gauges wise, all the original gauges, I, I don't pay much attention to them. The fuel gauge does work, but it's intermittent. And the uh, RPM gauge, obviously all that works. Then down here we installed temp gauge. Um, air fuel ratio and PSI, uh, your oil pressure. All that stuff is all working properly and that's that's really what I pay close attention to. It's lit up at night. Um, there's also a switch down here for the aftermarket uh, lights on the front and a pretty neat old, like, little flashlight that the guy always carried down in here just for emergencies and stuff. It's dual tanks, so um, that's your, your fuel selector for the front and the rear tank. The rear tank is 18 gallons and the front tank I believe is 10 or 12. Um, so normally what I do is I just, the, the, the rear tank is brand new. So I've normally just ran that fuel tank until it's dry and then have, you know, the front tank as a reserve and hit the gas station there. Um, the back of the actual camper is pretty simple. I have the bedding out and everything right now, but I have a couple pieces of memory foam that I put over the top of this. And then I've used this to go camping in the desert. Um, my buddy and I built the drawer system. It's built with some heavy duty rollers that literally will hold up to uh, about 300 pounds. I got my whole body on it right now. And uh, 
it doesn't move. So it's extremely solidly built. Camper's in great shape. It leaks it leaks off the top a couple spots, but uh, nothing crazy. Um, but in heavy, heavy rains, it's an old camper. It's got its little leaks and stuff. Some extra parts and stuff like that right there. I'll go around this side of the truck just to show you. I believe there's uh, one dent right in here in the quarter paneling, which is probably from off-roading. Not, not me, but somebody else had that done. Um, but you can see, overall cab is super clean. No cracks in any of the windows or anything else. There is absolutely no rust in any of the door jams or anything else. I believe the one spot of rust that I've noticed, and here's one other little ding where he hit it. Yeah, you know, obviously, probably high centering on a rock somewhere. <clears throat> that is the only rust that I've been able to find on the truck. And that's been exactly like that since I've owned it. It's got an original set of KO2s, like the, the old, or I'm sorry, uh, BFG uh, all terrains. They're not KO2s. And I was taking this truck out into the middle of nowhere. If I were to continue, I'd be replacing the tires. But for normal around town driving, they still have a ton of tread left. But like I said, I was taking this to some pretty remote places and, uh, I wanted it to be more than ready for anything that I was going to throw at it. Um, it's been sitting for probably two or three weeks. Um, it's got a nice new battery in it. Let me just start it up here. and everything on the front of the truck uh, are all wild horse tie rods pretty expensive stuff uh, Bilstein shocks all the way around Deeper Springs all the drive lines and everything have all been replaced so first start in a couple weeks just warming up still but I wanted to show you Motor temp literally hasn't even moved yet, uh, but oil pressure is up at 60. Once it warms up, it's down in like the 20 to 40 range, uh, but it revs, it's, it's got plenty of oil pressure. Um, 